most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Addis Euclo. Oh, good morning, everyone. It is a chilly Sunday morning. We talked about how chilly it was yesterday. It's even colder than that in a lot of spots with numbers that are down into the upper 20s and low 30s. Clear skies overnight as expected. It got cold quickly. As soon as the sun went down, temperatures dropped down through the 40s, and it wasn't too long before we were down into the 30s. So a cold start, but things are clear and quiet out there right now. 24, that is our coldest spot at Louisville. 29 in Carlisle, 30 in Duncan, and we're sitting in the low 30s in Chambersburg. Winds are calm everywhere. Winds were calm all day yesterday, and we'll see just a light wind today out of the south and east at about 5 miles per hour. But here's the thing. After this morning, that is the end of the really chilly nights for quite some time. So notice tomorrow, most of us dropping down into the mid 40s, and that's thanks in part to more clouds moving in. And then for the middle part of this week, overnight lows will be in the 50s. So that's going to be a noticeable change. We really don't see the kind of chilly mornings that we're seeing right now, probably not for at least the next seven days. So milder weather is on the comeback. Satellite and radar is quiet. We're starting to see a few clouds moving from the west. It's interesting. There's actually two pockets of clouds moving in. This one right here from the south and west, and then we have some lower clouds trying to sneak in here off the Chesapeake. So we are looking at an increase in some clouds throughout the afternoon today, but it's still going to be a decent day because we've got high pressure in control across the northeast. That's going to keep us dry, but notice the clouds they are not too far away, so that will move in this afternoon, and eventually we'll get this moisture from this area of low pressure to to move in for Halloween and that will bring us mainly light showers. A lot of what you see on the radar right now is going to fall apart before it makes it into our area. So for today, again, we'll start out with sunshine. It is certainly a cold start out there, but notice as we head throughout the afternoon, we start to see more clouds move in. That should not stop temperatures, though, from reaching the low 60s in most spots. Those clouds do thicken, though, late tonight. That's why we're expecting overnight lows only in the 40s as opposed to low 30s or upper 20s. Tomorrow morning will be dry, but once we head into the afternoon, we can't rule out some occasional light showers. It is not a lot of rain tomorrow. It is certainly not a washout, but the timing of the rain being late afternoon and evening, or at least showers, I should say, does potentially interfere with some trick or treaters. So that's something to watch here as we head throughout the day tomorrow. 60 degrees. That will be the temperature as trick or treaters head out again. A few light showers expected really quickly to show you the probability of rain tomorrow, and it does peak between about that 04 to 8 p.m. time frame, and then we'll gradually dry things out as we head into the day on Tuesday. So maybe just a leftover shower to Tuesday. That would be about it. And then look at that. The sunshine is back. Look at those milder days, too. Not only those overnight lows, but we're talking about upper 60s and, yes, even 70 by next Saturday, Kayla. So the warmer weather that we're about to experience looks like it's going to hang around for quite some time. By the way, we're entering November in this next week, so that is a pleasant start to yeah, the month. Yeah, and I am just shocked that we're entering November already.